Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. A couple years ago, I picked up a handgun online. It was budget priced right around $300. It was called the Tesis Zagana PX9. And it was an okay handgun. It looked like a cross between an XD and an FN509. But it performed well, had some decent features on there. I liked it, but I didn't fall in love with it. And I ended up selling it to my cousin for what I paid for it. And he likes it to this day. Well, I followed the line. And Tesis dropped the Zagana name and came up with the PX9 Gen 3 series. Had a short stint with the Gen 2s, and this is the top daddy, top dog of them all, I should say. And it is the Tesis PX9 Gen 3 Night Stalker Tactical. And here it is. The top model in the line. And it has this, it comes with this trigger guard holster there all right it'll get the job done not a full holster but they made them all optic ready which the Zagana was not and they have nice magazine capacity and this one is the Night Stalker and it's branded with all gray they have some 1911s they call the Night Stalker they have a Gen 3 Night Stalker this is the Gen 3 PX9 Tactical Night Stalker so we'll take a look at what's in the case it comes with these bore brushes a flared magwell a 20 round magazine right here's a 20 round this is an 18 round a 20 round plus two base plate and also it will accept the sig mags p226 mags so this one's made by sig sour it's a 15 rounder sits flat on the base plate but it works the p226 mags will work as well so immediately i have a bunch of mags for it because i have a p226 many grip panels and back straps so these grip panels will come off back straps custom fit your hand size you know they, they offer a lot in the case but the night stalker is called tactical because it has some features here that vary from the other and are improved over the px9 series first check out those slide cuts even on the top strap looks super cool it has a 5.1 inch threaded barrel a full pick rail already mentioned all gray some texturing with the trigger guard undercut there i like it that many modern firearms have that indentation there i first noticed with the sig sig models they started doing that with the p320 x compact is what i have i noticed that the back strap and grip panels are fine for me right now it also has a tritium front night sight which is a nice touch serrated black rear sights and then optic ready i have a gideon omega on there i'm going to talk about that but the overall feel fit and function is super nice i did shoot this at TriggerCon. i did not record it but it is super nice with this same optic on there the gideon omega well let's just talk about that this is a wide lens a lot of these let's just say budget Optic companies are coming out with SRO copies, and this is their version of it. It's a green dot, 3.0 MOA green dot, many adjustments. It's a direct mount to the Night Stalker. So it fits great, easy install, nice and tight in there. It's aluminum housed, shake awake, and top battery compartment. So it has everything that I'm looking for with a quality optic. And from all the reviews I've seen, Gideon Optics are doing a great job. And I like it that it's a green dot. I love it that it's shake awake. And I love it that you don't have to take the whole optic out to or off to change the battery. But let's take a look at this. I have a laser in there. I was, see that little laser in there? I sight in the... I sight in the uh, optic. I just play with that to see if it's uh, working well. So that, that's why that's in there. But the trigger, it breaks right at four pounds. I measured it several times. Four pounds... And then here is the reset. It's not an audible reset, but I'm confused why that matters. <laughs> like an audible reset, like the, 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 the gun's going to be loud. You're not going to hear the reset whether it's audible or not audible. So some people like the audible reset. They say, I want something with an audible reset. I don't get that. But anyhow, it also has a cocked striker indicator. In the back, you can tell that the slide has been charged. It's red, not super large, but when it's no longer when it's fired or it's empty or whatever you won't see that 
overall nice feel many options to the night stalker let's go ahead and check out the internals to do that you just lock the slide back push this lever down and then we'll take the slide off we'll see pretty beefy slide rails right there and then a dual captive recoil spring all steel guide rod and there is the five 0.1 inch threaded barrel and I'm going with threaded barrels lately you may have noticed if you watch my videos I like the threaded barrels because I have a very nice can coming in that is a multi caliber can I'm going to talk about that when it comes a little closer still waiting for the ATF to do their nonsense it takes 10 months to a year anyhow i think it looks cool i shot it and man i shot the lights out with it the target had to be 25 yards away and i was double tapping pretty good and hitting the target no problem i felt very very fine with this memory bumps right here and there i think it looks cool i think the the option with the the optic the various grip configurations the four pound trigger the 5.1 inch barrel the night sight, the slide cuts, I think it I think it offers a lot. Now you're wondering, how much is it? You talked enough, how much is it? $469, but the other TSS PX9 models are right around $369. But if you go with the Night Stalker Tactical, then it's gonna be a little bit more. I, I'm impressed with it. I couldn't wait to get it. And now that I have it, I have to shoot it. Shoot this one. I already told you I shot the other one. I need to shoot this one show you what it can do i like the 18 and 20 round mags has a lot pretty impressed with it hopefully you are too if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate the thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe